we're in a multi-part series of working with heat in the landscape. Now, heat and drought aren't necessarily the same exact thing, but when it gets to a residential landscape, they do occur just about at the same time, so essentially, they kind of are. It becomes an issue of plant selection and water management in terms of working with it in a positive sense. Today, we're gonna to talk about three really tough turfs, ones that can really help you keep it up to snuff and give you a fighting chance in the heat of the summer. Now, as with just about any grass, there are pros and cons of working with buffalo grass. First of all, it's slow to establish. If you're gonna be using plugs, it takes about a year to establish. Maybe if you're gonna be using seed, you take almost up to two years, so it is slower. Now, in mid-May is the time it's gonna go ahead and green up, as opposed to mid-April for most grasses that we're kind of used to, so that's a little bit of a detractor. And then in the fall, it'll pretty much go dormant with the first frost, so not as long a season in terms of the growing season. All right, now on the plus side, there are many, many advantages, especially when dealing with heat in the landscape. First of all, it can take just about all the heat that a Nebraska summer can dish out. And in addition to that, the mowing and the watering and the fertilizing are very greatly reduced as well. So it becomes a really good option if you're concerned with dealing with heat in the landscape. Now another warm season grass that's tough is zoysia grass. And like buffalo grass, its growing season is shorter than bluegrass. There's a lot of good side to it though. First of all, it really takes the heat. And if you've got a hell strip like this that you want grass in, it can really handle the heat that's radiated from the sidewalk and the street. And it really doesn't need much water or fertilizer. So that's a big advantage as well. Also, if you're gonna go with a warm season grass, it's greener than buffalo grass. And you might consider it an option, especially in a strip like this. Now, here's a, here's a little bit of a caveat though. If you plant it like here and it can creep into the neighbors, be sure to install a barrier to prevent that creep. Now, if you want to stick with a cool season grass, your best bet is turf type tall fescue. Mostly because of its really deep root system, it becomes a heat tolerant grass. Turf, of course, isn't the only part of the landscape that we're concerned about in terms of heat. Next time on Garden Steps, we'll take a close look at ornamentals.